Oh, I should put my phone on silent too. Okay, I think I'll be fine. All right. So, Nazarene's Secret School, a true story from Afghanistan by Janet Winter. So, based on the cover, what do you think the story is going to be about? A school that's special. A special school. Why do you think it's going to be special? Because on the title it says it's going to be about a special school. You mean a secret school? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. And how do you feel about school? Good. You like school? Do you think it's important? Okay. Why do you think it's important? Because we learn from it and you get to know new things. Cool. I like that idea. My granddaughter, Nazreen, lives with me in Hrait, an ancient city in Afghanistan. Art and music and learning once flourished here. Do you know where Afghanistan is? Do you mind if I show you on a map? So this is a map of the earth, and you see the red? Yeah. That's Afghanistan. Right here is Europe, and this is America. So it's kind of far, right? Yeah, it's pretty far. You're probably going to have to go on a plane and then on a boat and then on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> or you might be able to take a really long plane. I think they might have one. Do you know anything about Afghanistan? Mm. No? Okay. Then the soldiers came and changed everything. The art and music and learning are gone. Dark clouds hang over the city. Poor Nazreen sat at home all day because girls are forbidden to attend school. What do you think forbidden means? Not allowed. Good, that's awesome. The t Taliban, it's okay. The Taliban soldiers don't want girls to learn about the world. The way Nazreen's mama and I learned when we were girls. Why would the soldiers not want the girls to go to school? Because they wanted the boys to be better. They want the boys to be better. How would you feel if you couldn't go outside and go to school? Sad. Why? Because I would like to do fun things like dancing. Awesome. Do you think it's fair that the, the girls couldn't go to school? Yeah. Why? Because they can learn, learn new things. Awesome. One night, soldiers came to our house and took my son away with no explanation. Where do you think they took him? To, like, in a dungeon. In a, a dungeon. Jail. A jail. We waited many days and nights for his return. Finally, Nazreen's frantic mama went searching for him, even though going out alone in the streets was forbidden for women and children. The full moon passed our window many times as Nazreen and I waited. Nazreen never spoke a word. She never smiled. She just sat, waiting for her mama and papa to return. I knew I had to do something. Why do you think Nazreen doesn't speak or smile? Because her dad is not there. Mm -hmm. What would you do if your friend wouldn't speak or smile? I would be sad. You would be sad? Would you try to cheer them up? What would you do to cheer them up? Mm -hmm. Would you say to me or do something they like? <laughs> I heard whispers about a school, a secret school for girls, behind a green gate in a nearby lane. I wanted Nazreen to attend this secret school. I wanted her to learn about it, I learn about the world as I had. I wanted her to speak again. So one day, Nazreen and I hurried down the lanes until we came to the green gate. Luckily, no soldiers saw us. What do you think would have happened if a soldier saw them? Take them Take them away, where do you think they would take them? Put them in the jail where the dad is. Yeah? Do you think it's okay for them to to do this behind the soldier's back? Yeah. No? Why? Because that's not good. It's not good? Why do you think they she sent Nazarene to the school even though it wasn't allowed? Because she wanted to learn and, and if she was at the house, it would have been safe probably. Mm. I tapped lightly. The teacher opened the gate, and we quickly slipped inside. 
We crossed the courtyard to the school, one room in a private house filled with girls. Nazreen took a place at the back of the room. Please, Allah, open her eyes to the world. I prayed as I left her there. Who do you think Allah is? That person. This person? Do you, do you think it might be a, a person who is not actually a person? Because she says that she prays to her or him, right? So who do you think Allah might be? Somebody that she doesn't know. So who do you pray to? Mommy, Daddy, Chloe, my family. Do you, who do you pray to for them? You pray to a God? Yeah. So do you think Allah might be their God in Afghanistan? Okay. Nazreen didn't speak to the other girls. She didn't speak to the teacher. At home, she remained silent. I was fearful that the soldiers would discover the school. But the girls were clever. They slipped in and out of the school at different times, so as not to arouse suspicion. And when boys saw soldiers near the green gate, they distracted them. How does it make you feel knowing that the boys are helping so that the girls don't get caught? By making him look at them, that way they don't, he, doesn't, that way he doesn't look at them and they can get out. Awesome. I heard of a soldier who pounded on the gate, demanding to enter. What do you think is going to happen next? He's going to probably go in. <gasps> Let's see. Oh, you were right. But all he found was a room filled with girls reading the Quran, which was allowed. The girls had hidden their schoolwork, outwitting the soldier. What do you think the Quran is? If Allah is their God, what do you think the Quran is? <laughs> what do you read? Don't you read something about God? You don't, you don't read the Bible? No? Oh, mommy reads the Bible. Okay. Do, do you think the Quran might be their kind of Bible? One of the girls, Mina, sat next to Nazreen every day, but they never spoke to each other. While the girls were learning, Nazreen stayed inside herself. My worry was deep. What do you think worry means? Scared. Scared? Maybe she's concerned. She feels about a little bit uncomfortable with what's going on. Yeah? How, have you ever felt worried? Sometimes. Sometimes. Can you tell me about a time you were worried? When my dog was that dead but it's alive. Oh no. When I was like three or two. You were probably super scared, right? I was oh. like one. No, I think two because I started walking. Oh no. By, by the slide over there? Yeah. When you could, you know how you. It's okay. <laughs> you, when you slide down, mm -hmm. he was dead by the slide. Oh. And then our dad, he went up because he woke in the morning. And then he goes outside and he sees the dog dead, so he calls us all. Oh, no. So you're probably super worried, right? So, and then that's how we got Louie. <laughs> and then Louie. That's good, though. You got a new dog. When school closed for the long winter recess, Nazreen and I sat by the fire. Relatives gave us what food and firewood they could spare. We missed our mama and my son more than ever. Would we ever know what had happened? One day, Nazreen returned to school. And Mina whispered in her ear, I miss you. And Nazreen answered back, I missed you too. With those words, her first since her mama went searching, Nazreen opened her heart to Mina. What do you think it means when she, they say Nazreen opened her heart to Mina? We probably became friends. Yeah, you think she's telling her, telling her how she feels or what she thinks? What do you think she's telling her? Based on the picture, what do you think she's telling her? That they're, they're trying to get her and then give them back to that. Mm, okay. And she smiled for the first time since her papa was taken away. At last, little by little, day by day, Nazreen learned to read, to write, to add and subtract. Each night, she showed me what she had discovered that day. Windows opened for Nazreen in that little schoolroom. What do you think it means when they say the windows opened for Nazreen? She saw new places and new things. Awesome. 
She learned about the artists and writers and scholars and mystics who long ago made her rate beautiful. Nazarene no longer feels alone. The knowledge she holds inside will always be with her, like a good friend. Now she can see blue skies beyond those dark clouds. That looks like the, um, this. The cover? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, she they probably use the same picture, right? But she's looking up at me. Ah, I like how you saw the differences. As for me, my mind is at ease. I still wait for my son and his wife. But the soldiers can never close the windows that have opened for my granddaughter. In in Shia Allah. Who do you think the narrator is? The person at the In the front? Yeah. That's Nazreen. You think Nazreen's the narrator? No, this. Oh, that's the author. Yeah. Who do you think is telling the story? That's the narrator. The person who wrote the story. <laughs> that's the author. Huh. Who do you, the narrator, is the person in the story that the author wrote to tell the story? The little girl. The little girl? Do you remember in the story how she talks about, I still wait for my son and his wife? So do you think it's the little girl or do you think it might be somebody else? Somebody else. Who do you think it could be? The son and the wife. No. Remember that they were taken? Mm -hmm. Okay. So since they were taken and, and the narrator is talking about the son and the wife, so if someone's a, their son, who is the person? Because if you're a daughter, who, who comes above you? The son. No, who comes above you. Not next to you. <laughs> above you. Who made you? Your mom. Your mom. So who made your mom? No, you call her... Or grandma. So her grandma's telling the story. Because she talks about her granddaughter, Nazreen, right? And then she has her son and her son's wife. Ah. So how do you think Nazreen has changed since the beginning of the story? Now she's happy and she learns new stuff. But in the beginning, she didn't learn stuff and she couldn't go to school. But now she goes to school. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Why do you think she's changed? Because she made friends and she learned a lot. And what do you think about school now? Good. Good? Do you still think it's really important? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's important for everyone? Mm -hmm. Why? Because they probably want to learn and have friends. Yes, that's good. High five. Thanks. For the bomb.com. Super easy, right? Oh, oh, oh. No, it's still recorded.